and welcome back to this new video. Today I'm gonna talk about the K-pop comebacks of July 2020. These are just the comebacks that stood out to me the most this month. So I'm really sorry if your favorite comeback isn't in this video. Please tell me though what is your favorite comeback of July because I really want to know. I'm going to tell you guys my favorite comeback at the end of the video. Um, yeah, so let's get started. The first one on my list is Play by Chungha. <laughs> Chungha's last comeback, Stay Tonight, let's just say it was very, very iconic, but it just didn't stuck with me. I just stopped listening to it after a while, so I hope they wouldn't be the same for this comeback, and it's definitely not the same. Play, um, I'm playing it on repeat. The song is so good, and the choreography, and the outfit, and the stages, like, Chungha is a queen and she has that title for a reason. So yeah, I love that one the red outfit. It's just so summery and like you want to dance, you want to like really have fun with this song. I love it. Playing it in a car, so amazing. And the thing is there is a rap part and when she promoted it, so on the stage, the rapper wasn't with her, but she just danced over the rap and it didn't even go by notice that there was no rapper on stage and that is just how great her stage present is because usually if there's a rap part and the rapper is not present dancers have to do something and it usually looks not that good or they just cut out that whole part which i find pretty sad but that's just how it is so yeah i was really happy to see they didn't cut out this part and she just like vibes with it and also the dancers which are doing like these um, breakdance moves. Love that. When I watched the music video, I was like, please tell me these dancers are in the stages too. That would be amazing. And the stage design, everything. Love that so, so much. The next one on my list is Monster by Red Velvet, Sylvia and Irene. I Um, I don't even ha know how to describe this comeback because it was just so much holy shit. I know we all anticipated this when the teasers came out and we really wanted to know what is going on. And then we saw like this subtle lesbian thing going on and we all were like, yep, we here for it. Give it to us and they did it so well. The dance was incredible. I mean all that like when um like I think it's Sogi holding Irene on the neck. It's not really healthy for Irene, like on the neck. And she said that it hurts her and I don't want her to do it if it hurts. And she like yeah. But that part I was shocked when I saw it. I was like, what the hell? And then like in the music video, her face gets that monster on top of it. Like, oh my god, that was, uh, whew, I was shocked. Yeah, the choreography itself is so good and it goes so well with the song. Whenever I listen to the song and um, like in the car or just in my room, I always like go with it. Like, you know, yeah, that one move where they go like slowly from side to side. I always, I always do that part too. And it's just so satisfying and it's just... Oh my god, this song is slaps! And the outfits, oh my god. I don't know how many times I watched the stage in the music video. I still listen to it. I love this song. The car is just like, if a song slaps in the car and you love it and you can like drive faster and you love it and you're like, oh my god, I need that song. That's when I know that song is a really great song. Okay, the next one is Summer Preve by SF9. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, SN9 is one of my favorite groups, and um, I did an unboxing on their album, and I have all of their albums, so I was really excited for that comeback, and we all were like, well, it's gonna be a summer comeback, and then they came up back with like this dark bar concept, and like I was so confused, and with the guns, and I was like, wait, I wanted a summer comeback, and oh my god, the scenes in this bar, whew, I'm, um... I cannot describe how much I love it. It's so good. They all look so freaking good. The bar, the design of the bar and the person who did all of that, wow. Please get a raise because that is an amazing job. And when I started shooting, I still don't get what the music video was about. I mean, like kind of they're breaking free from like the mirror or the snake. I'm not here for theories. I'm too dumb for that. I never do that. I'm just like looking at people like, oh my god, that's a theory. And they're like, mm, makes sense. Yeah, that's my new theory now. But the stages, the dance, so good. This bang, 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 giddy up, giddy up part. Oh my god. If I say a song is satisfying to listen to, that means so, so much. And this part, so satisfying. And also the dance. And the stages were so, so amazing. That was like a good twist on like a summer comeback because they were later on outside and like with the summer comeback vibe, but also had the dark and like evil side with it. And that's so cool to do that. So the next one on my list is What You Waiting For by So Me. Just tell me what you waiting for. Baby, I've been waiting for. You on this time of faded. We waited for like around a year for her comeback and I wasn't that happy with birthday I mean sure it was a cute and fun song, but it just didn't seem to be a debut So I hoped she wouldn't go into a different uh, Direction from her debut song and maybe show off what else she can do because I feel like this song She did like birthday wasn't like the concept for her and I really hope she gets better outfit I expected something more upbeat from her and I was like mm, the song I'm not gonna listen to that often but I see myself listen to this song a lot lately it's just so good if you don't don't want a too upbeat song if you just want to have the song playing in the background while you're laying on your bed going through Instagram that's the song for it but what I realized watching the music video a few more times is that it gives off major like Ariana Grande American pop artist vibes Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. She seems like the Ariana Grande of K-pop. And the next song, or next comeback on my list is Come Back Home by One Us. Please come back home. And to be honest, I didn't even know they performed this song on Kingdom because um, I didn't watch Kingdom, I just watched the stages, but I only watched a few stages and the latest, like from the latest episodes, I didn't watch the stages yet. And so I didn't know they performed this song at Kingdom. And I suddenly saw this music video and I was like, what the hell is going on? Because the fighting scenes and like the monsters and the swords, um, definitely something I enjoy watching. It is so different from your typical K-pop music video, which was so refreshing to see. I mean, again, it's like cruel and a lot of like aggression and crime and like killing people or like monsters. But, um... It's something I, okay, maybe that sounds wrong, but um, this kind of music video aesthetic is something I really like to watch. I don't know why, maybe I'm just like sick in my head, but um, I just like these kind of things, so 
I really enjoyed watching the music video and I was so so shocked and the song was so good when I saw it for the first time I was just in awe like my friends I was on Skype with my friends yeah we still do that and they didn't even realize I was watching it and I was like just sitting there with my mouth open I was like what the actual hell did I just watch because it was so so good I'm just so sad that I didn't promote the song and I guess it's not really a title song because there's no album. They just released it with a music video because it was a really popular song on Road to Kingdom. But oh my god, I should have promoted it. I love the music video. The song is so hard. Oh my god, I'm in love. Going to the next one on my list, it's Inception by 80s. <laughs> I gotta say, I like Banks more than I like Inception, song-wise, but I know the reason why we all voted for Inception, and I did the same, so I, I'm not mad, Inception is a good song. Uh, I listened to the B-sides of this album, there are only a few groups I listen to the B-sides. And 80s is one of these because I know they never disappoint with their B-sides, and for that album, the same. I think it's called To The Beat. That song, great. Uh, but I, like, as I said, song-wise, I like Thangs more than Inception, but that doesn't mean I don't like Inception. The um, music video was a cinematic masterpiece. Like, the creative behind the music video, wow. Because, like, the, like in the movie Inception, like, the dreams and stuff, almost, and all this stuff, it was done so, so well. But the only thing that Mm, made me a bit not confused but worried um, about the music video was that it reminded me a lot of BTS music videos and the thing is a lot of people already say that AATs are copying BTS and I definitely do not agree their music style is totally different their in general style is totally different from BTS they just like BTS and like covering their songs and that's not a bad thing I never should and I never thought I would actually say this that it seems like they took inspiration from BTS and maybe they didn't maybe it just was the director who thought these things could look good but for me so many things so many things reminded me of BTS music videos there was this classroom from boy in love boy in love right and uh, this hallway, which reminded me of fake love. That's all I, the things I could I can think about right now. But I remember watching it for the first time, and there were so many more things. I was like, that reminds me of BTS. Please don't tell me it's copied. Please, it's just like the director thought is looking good. I'm not gonna say they copied because that's just a dumb move to do. The next one, and uh, that's gonna be a short one, is Villain by Alexa. I like Alexa, she's really funny, she's such a pure human being, I love listening to her, she's doing broadcasts and stuff like that, I love that, love listening to her, and her music style and her music video style, I'm sorry you hear all these background noises, I'm living on a village with a lot of like noises. But uh, yeah, let's continue. I really like Alexa's style of music video, the one with like robots and future and all of that. I really like that. Her debut, oh my god. I was so shocked. I was like, girl, go for it. She's like that extra and like, wow. But I also cannot see her being with the top solo artists because she's not doing something that is fluttering 
for the Korean public to listen to it. It's more like these ultra K-pop fans or more international fans will listen to the music. But the Korean standard, like the public, the Korean public isn't like a fan of this kind of style. Doesn't mean her songs and stuff is bad. But I, I really like and enjoy her stuff. But I just don't think she's on the same level than other Korean solo artists. And it, I know it's harder for solo artists than f for groups in general. So I think she's gonna have it really hard later on because she's not gonna be that popular in Korea, but internationally. But if that's what she wants and that's she's okay with, I don't mind. I mean, she can speak English so naturally. She's gonna have more international followers. I really like her. She's a really nice girl. Next one is Shadow Play by Pink Fantasy. Ninja. I gotta say something in before I'm gonna say my opinion on this comeback. Um, Pink Fantasy was always weird to me because they had this one member with a rabbit hat and nobody knew how she looked. And I always thought that was really, really weird because that member automatically doesn't have a lot of fans. And if she ever releases her face, there's a high expectations and I don't know the reason why that girl was covering her face. I don't know. But I was confused to why in this music video there was no rabbit hat. If you are a fan of Pink Fantasy, please tell me because um, maybe that girl like showed her face or she just left the group. I don't know. I'm gonna like talk a lot about this opinion. <laughs> uh, the last comeback they had, I don't really remember the name. It just came to my mind. This concept really reminded me of Dreamcatcher's concept. I love Dreamcatcher's concept because it is so unique, because nobody is really doing it. Because their music and music video styles are so unique and fits together so well. And I was like, yeah, it's great, they do their own thing. And for some reason, Pink Fantasy's last comeback just reminded me so much of a Dreamcatcher comeback. I was um okay, maybe they're just trying out different genres, but um it just reminded me a lot of a Dreamcatcher comeback. And the same goes with this concept for Shadow Play. The song, I really like the song. I gotta admit that like I gotta admit that I just need to say it. The song is really really good. It's catchy, it has an aesthetic and the whole music video has an aesthetic I really really like so I was like pleased with it. But for the in watching the music video, I noticed something um, for me very disturbing. Um, the music video reminded me very, very much of the music video that G Idol could have pulled off, and that's again something I don't really like because it just reminded me of a G Idol comeback so, so much. And I was like, girls, can't you just do something that is unique to yourself? But again, I was like, maybe they're just following the trend she idol set and then i was like well okay i don't really care they can do whatever they want but it just reminded me of she idol so so much and the rap of this song um i don't know it just reminded me so much of science rap so i was like mm. i don't want to bash the girls because um they probably have nothing to do with this and maybe i'm just wrong maybe i'm just seeing things that are not existing maybe everybody else just sees that music video as something unique and not something that is very similar to G Idol's style, but um, it's just what I see and what I like the vibes I get from it. The next one on my list is Dessert by Hyo. You know what I deserve? What? Dessert. This song. Um, at first listen, I was like, yeah, that's a very, very Hyo song. Um, she's done a lot of songs in that direction, and I love these songs. And the third is so, so catchy to sing along, and I love it. And like, 
she having Soyeon and Lupi as featurings in this song great because their voices all fit so well together again i was a bit like why soyeon they are using her for everything and she's everywhere like why can't you use somebody else from g idol if you want to use somebody from g idol but then again i was like well they use her because her voice fits and she's very talented so why not use her? I really like the music video, the dance. I watch a lot of these dance challenges with uh, Hyo and other SNSD members. And um, I really like the catchiness of this song. It's amazing. Okay, now I've got two songs with the same name. And that's Paradise. The first one is by Ravi and Ha Sung Hoon. <laughs> Um, okay, I like the song. It's like a normal summer vibe song, but I can't really see myself listening to it much more. If Ravi puts out a rap song like Asura or Limitless, these songs I was in love with. I'm listening to these songs so much, but I just don't see myself vibing with Paradise. And I don't know why, it's, just, it's a good song, but I just didn't feel a connection there, you know? And... I know there are so many summer songs, and if you compare it to uh, his summer as vibes album, like Nirvana, the whole album with Nirvana, it, these songs, I love these songs. So I, I, it's not like Ravi can't do this kind of style, and it's not like the song is bad. It's just the song doesn't stand out to me much. And the other song with the name Paradise is Paradise by Eric Num. <laughs> Eric Nam is the king of summer songs. Just go and listen to Honestly in the Winter. And you suddenly feel like you're on the beach in summer times and you're running around in like a hot water with Eric Nam and you're having fun having some drinks in a tropical bar. You just get that vibe from his songs and his voice and it's just so great. And hearing that he's gonna come back with an album in summer, I was like, yeah, we got another great summer vibe song from Eric and that's what we got. Paradise, I mean, kind of has a deeper, darker meaning to it, but also, like, it, the song is so great, you can sing along so well. I'm still a bit confused about the music video, if someone knows what the music video was about, please tell me, because, um, again, I don't know any theories, I just watched it and was like, well, yeah, I didn't understand, but it looked good. <laughs> That's what I always do with music videos, so yeah. I didn't really know what's going on, but um, I liked the music video, I liked the song, and I'm gonna listen to Paradise so many times because um, it just gives me that major summer vibe we all know and love from Eric Nam. Next song on this list is Nunu Nana by Jesse Queen. <laughs> Okay, um, that girl, she's a queen, and she proved that with this comeback. I gotta say, Who That Be was like a good song, but I didn't really listen to it a lot. I don't know why, but this song, I don't know how many times I listened to Nunu Nana. I love it. I always vibe with it. I always dance with it, even though I can't dance nor can dance in a sexy way because uh, my body just won't do it. But oh my god this song is so so good i'm listening to it like every day because um if you listen to this song you just feel like i'm a bad bitch but like still having fun and like kind of like giving me summer vibes <sighs> i i this song is so good i can't even like express it in words if you haven't watched jesse's nunu nana because it is amazing and the last song 
on my list is Waves by Kang Daniel, Jamie, and Simon Dominic. Mm, okay, I love Simon Dominic's music. He's a really great artist. I love his rap. Amazing. Jamie, oh my god. She's one of the girl idols I would be gay for, to be honest, because her voice, girl, and her attitude, love that. I love her. So, seeing her in that song, or like listening to her voice in that song and seeing her being like a queen. Um, I was totally hooked. I was like, yeah, girl, go for it. She was in Good Girl. And oh my god, I loved her in Good Girl. I fell in love with her voice again because it's so powerful. And she had a good amount of lines in that song for being a feature. And Simon Dominic's rap was incredible. I love his tone and his rap style is amazing. Mm, okay, let's talk about Kang Daniel. I never was like the biggest fan of him. I never, I actually never really cared about him because I wasn't a fan of 101. So I didn't really care about him. Never listened to his music and never really wanted to listen to his music. But since two artists I really like are featured on the, his song, I thought let's give it a listen. And that song slaps! And I mean, his voice is definitely not bad, and the song really, oh my god, it's so good. But the thing is, I thought Kang Daniel would be a dancer. I thought he was a dancer in 101, but when you look at the dance sequences of the music video, he's just not in the center. I'm just, I was so confused. Like, I've seen Jamie. And I've seen Simon Dominic more than I've seen Kang Daniel in his own music video. Maybe I'm just dumb and didn't realize he was there. But for me, I don't know. It just seemed like he wasn't like that present in the music video. But this part where he sings, hey little mommy. It's a bit weird. If it would have been Simon Dominic singing, I wouldn't thought it would be weird since it's time dominic but with kang daniel knowing he has a girlfriend and knowing that girlfriend i felt a bit uncomfortable in the beginning of him singing that line but now you're on i'm just like i don't care because i love this song and the song slaps so hard it's such a good song and you can sing along so well too it's incredible and yeah that was already all the comebacks I wrote down. My favorite comeback in July was definitely Monster by Irene and Sogi. That song is still on repeat. Or it would be Nunu Nana by Jesse. Yeah. Please tell me your favorite songs in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Okay.